so this is going to be a really quick video on uh, how to plot graphs uh, so so far all of this must be like pretty similar from the remaining programs so i'm going to show how to plot graphs on the iris data set so these are like pretty common uh, i'm just adding these two lines here matplotlib uh, and pandas so these lines should be familiar to you if you have seen any other videos load the iris data and then split it into training and testing part and now let's try and make some graphs out of this so i'm going to so let's just display what x train looks like so it's an array an np array which has like uh, four different entries and like multiple columns so i want to plot so this corresponds to sepal length and this corresponds to the sepal width and i want to make a graph of the sepal length against sepal width so i need to select this column and this column right so let's do that so x equals pd dot data frame so we are going to transform this uh, numpy array like structure into a data frame i have imported uh, pandas as pd in this line so that's why i am using uh, pandas and the method data frame to transform this uh, numpy array like structure into a data frame now i'm going to pick the first column so and i'm also going to pick the second column so what this means is iloc is used to uh, refer the index in the numpy array so in the sorry in a pandas data frame so in this particular data frame pick all the elements in the column with the index uh, zero pick all the elements in the column uh, index one so now this should actually give us x1 and x2 so if i just put x1 you see that you know all the first column elements have been uh, stored in this variable so now let's just plot it so the way we do it is we have to import matplotlib.py plot as plt so this is the line that we need to use uh, the render layer in matplotlib uh, so I'm just going to create a scatter plot. So a scatter plot is the one that you see, the one with dots. So it takes two arguments x and y. Here we are plotting sepal length against uh, sepal width. So x1 comma x2, and you have a plot. So this is basically like how you make a plot. So you can add some more attributes to the plot, like title. So this is the title that I've added. You can also add the X label. X label is uh, uh, metal length. This is the demonstration, so it doesn't matter what it is. And you can also add a Y label. Uh, so you have petal length and uh, I can change it here and it will uh, display that. So this is basically how you want to do graphs. So for any of the programs, if you feel like you want to add graphs to show what you're trying to do, uh, take the variable, make it into a data frame and then pick the columns that you want to plot. So in this example, I've picked the first column that is zeroth index. So the way you do it is uh, the data frame dot I lock. So this is two, it means all the elements in that are copied and the comma the index value so that's how you need to specify in a data frame and once you've done that you can uh, save this into two variables and then you can pld dot scatter uh, x1 comma x2 so if you change scatter to plot it's going to plot a line from one point to another so this is not what we want we just need a scatter plot so yeah that's it